Hi everyone, Stephanie here. I am so excited today because my copy of Morphine Magic finally arrived in the mail. This is that amazing program for supporting your students to learn morphology from Dr. Deb Glazer. Some of you who work with intermediate and secondary age students have been wondering what is there in the science of reading for me? Well, this is your answer or at least one of them. Morphine Magic is an amazing resource to support you to teach students about morphology. Some of you might be saying, well, I don't really know a lot about morphology. One of the things I love about Deb Glazer's approach to this topic is how accessible it is and how she puts teachers at ease to understand that you can learn about morphology while you're teaching it to your students. And this Morphine Magic resource is gonna help you to do that. Uh, she starts out uh, in the beginning of the book with an example of the word elephant. How many syllables are in the word elephant? How many morphemes are in the word elephant? Right, just, just one. So bringing students' attention to this additional uh, aspect of the English language, the meaningful parts of words, is gonna really help your secondary students to be able to access the meaning of words, to determine how to spell some of these big words that they wanna be using in their writing and words that they're gonna see in their reading. Um, so this is a really important tool. It is organized to give you 52 lessons on the most commonly occurring, from research, the most commonly occurring morphemes. And it's organized into three sections. There's a section on suffixes. There are lessons on um, prefixes that come next, and then uh, lessons on roots. And Deb gives a couple of different approaches to teaching these lessons. Let me tell you a little bit about the lesson first. Um, there's a really nice overview of the components of the lesson here, and she provides explicit instruction on teaching the morpheme. She gives you lists of words for that prefix, suffix, or root that you can use in that lesson, and some really nice engaging text. So it's embedded in the context of, of reading connected text, which is great. There are also really uh, engaging ideas for practicing and integrating the, um, the morphemes that you've taught over time. So she gives a couple of different approaches. You can either teach all 52 lessons in order, and that would be perfectly fine. And even within a, a intermediate grades, middle school or high school, those could be repeated over time because they're so rich and lots of ways to review. Or you could take a couple of lessons from the prefix section, a couple of lessons from the suffix section, and a couple of lessons from the roots, and then cycle back through those. That would be a second approach to doing it. Or she also says that you could integrate these lessons into your already existing vocabulary instruction. Maybe you have a, a vocabulary sc scope and sequence, or you have uh, vocabulary lessons that are part of your published reading series, just go to that morpheme in Morpheme Magic and use this to support that vocabulary instruction. It's just brilliant. I love it. Um, one of the really secret, well, it's not a secret, one of the really uh, powerful and amazing aspects of Morpheme Magic is that Deb has created sound cards. So similar to the Tools for Reading from Mary Dahlgren, um, I, I said sound cards. Mary Dahlgren's resource are uh, sound cards. Deb Glazer's resource is a set of morpheme cards. So similar to the uh, sound cards, the sound wall concept, Deb has created these visual supports that can become the reference that hang in your classroom and give you a way to refer back after you've provided that explicit lesson, refer back to the elements on the cards. So just like the book itself, there are cards that refer to each one of the suffixes, to each one of the uh, prefixes, and to each one of the roots that's included in the 52 lessons of Morpheme Magic. So 
I hope you'll check it out. Uh, Dr. Deb Glazer is an amazing educator, so generous with her time and knowledge. And I think Morphine Magic is really gonna be an excellent tool to add to your toolkit as a secondary instructor. So check it out.